Hey, welcome back to Smoking Joe's Kitchen, and I'm Smoking Joe. You know, a famous chef once said, a chef is only as good as the food he makes. Well, I'm not a chef. I'm just a cook. And I like to cook for my friends, I like to cook for my family, and I like to use Smoking Joe's. So today what we're going to do is we're going to make some sausage and pepper heroes. And we're going to make it real nice, real simple, using again basic ingredients that you should have in your home and at your pantry. The sausage that we're going to use today is regular pork sausage, but you could also use turkey sausage. So, let's get started. Alright, the basic ingredients to our sausage and pepper hero is obviously the sausage. You want to start off with five or six links. This right here is approximately 20 ounces. So, they're about a quarter of a pound a piece. By the time we're done, they're going to end up getting cut in half anyway, lengthwise, and they're going to fit into the roll really nicely. Start off with about one green bell pepper. I slice it up nice and thin after I've cleaned it out, down into about quarter inch slices. One medium onion, sliced semi-coarse, and this is a medium onion, because a lot of times I get you, oh, how big is a medium onion? Well, this is a medium onion. It's about the size of your fist, and a little smaller than a baseball. We've got about one and a half teaspoons of chopped garlic. We have some oregano, about a half a teaspoon, and about a quarter of a teaspoon of basil, and about one tablespoon of fresh parsley. In the back here, I've got some provolone cheese. You don't have to put cheese on it. You could decide not to. You could put mozzarella on it. You could put pepper jack. Again, in Smoking Joe's Kitchen, it's not necessarily about the exact ingredients that you use. It's about the idea. It's about the intent of cooking and having a good time while you cook and sharing it with your friends and family. So you could tailor any of Smoking Joe's recipes to your flavor, to your tastes, to the tastes of your friends and neighbors. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to braise our pork sausage in a pan at a medium high heat. All right. right now we're going to add about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of olive oil into a saute pan. And we're going to begin by braising our sausage. You want to be very careful when you're making sausage and pepper that you don't break the skin. If you break the skin, all of the natural juices and flavors run out into the pan and you start to lose them. Unless, of course, you deglaze the pan with maybe some wine. Now that our sausages have been braised or browned on all sides, we're going to lower the temperature down, way down, pretty low. And we're going to add about half a cup of cold water. You want to be very careful while you're doing this step because you got to remember that you're adding the water into a hot pan that has olive oil and some of the fats from your pork sausage in it. So you don't want to just splash it in. You want to add it in over the sausages easily. And once again, as I said, make sure that you've lowered the temperature of this pan way down. If you've noticed, I've been cooking the sausage with tongs. You do not want to pierce the skin or the casing on your sausage. This way, it retains all of its natural flavors as it cooks. The reason we've put the water in is so that it cooks at a nice, slow, level temperature and it remains moist. There's nothing worse than biting into a sausage and peppy hero and the sausages are all dried and crunchy and crispy and mealy. Oh. In a large pan, in a large pan or in a large skillet such as this one, on a high heat, 
Remember, hot pan, cold oil, things don't stick. On a high heat, you want to add about two tablespoons of olive oil. I like to cook with olive oil. It helps to lend a nice flavor. It also handles the heat very well. All right, once the olive oil's been heated up, you want to throw in your peppers, your onions, and you want to give those a quick stir. You don't want your vegetables to get all mushy. You want to keep them nice and firm. You want to keep them what is known as al dente. Just keep them firm. You don't want mushy vegetables. As I begin to quickly saute my onions and peppers, I'm going to add my garlic, my basil, and my oregano. Again, quickly stirring over a high heat. And once again, boy, do I wish that you could smell what this smells like. This is wonderful. You can see that I'm stirring everything so that we get a nice, even blend of all of the herbs and the vegetables. Again, one of the things that you don't want to do is bite into a sandwich or a hero or food and just get a mouthful of one herb or one spice. So you want to make sure that everything is blended in nicely. At this point, we're going to lower the heat down to a medium low. And now it's time for the world's best food enhancer, Smoking Joe's Cajun Barbecue Sauce. Get ready. Buckle up, baby. Here it comes. Four ounces of Smoking Joe's barbecue sauce. Remember, the vegetables are still nice and crispy. The herbs have been well blended. We have now lowered the temperature a little bit because we don't want our vegetables to get mushy. Right now, everything is nice and warm, crisp, tender, but al dente. Nice blend of all of our vegetables, all of our herbs, all of our spices, and smoking joes. This is the perfect way that you want to see the sausages simmering in your pan. Occasionally, just give them a turn. These are cooking nicely all the way through. You can still see that they're wonderfully braised and browned. And they're retaining all of their moisture, juice, and flavors. At this point, our sausage has been simmering for about 20 minutes, and as you can see, most of the liquid has been reduced, and we're down to just the essence of all of the drippings that have come out of the sausage. And our sausage is still very nice and plump, and you can tell that they're just loaded with all of their natural juices. Much, much better than being dried out. So, we're going to turn those off. Our vegetables are all ready. All of our herbs, you can still see that they're nice and crisp still. They're not all wilted and limpy. Everything has been mixed nicely. So now it's time for our heroes. <clears throat> I have a selection of different types of hero rolls here. You could use whatever you want. French bread, Italian bread, baguettes, hero rolls such as these. You could toast them. You could make them into garlic bread. You could do nothing to them. Again, this isn't necessarily about sticking to a specific recipe 
or a very special way of cooking or preparing something. This is about cooking, not being a chef. This is about cooking for yourself, the way you like to do things, and for your friends and family. So right now, I'm going to take my heroes over. <coughs> One thing that I do like to do is if I'm going to use cheese, I like to put the cheese down in the bottom of the roll first. I do this for several reasons. Number one, it will help the cheese melt into the bread and it will also seal the bread from all of the juices getting down into it and then your bread and your roll, it all becomes soggy. So I like to put the cheese onto the bread first. Then at this point, I can put my vegetables on, I can put my sausage in, and again, there's no rules or regulations here. It's all how you like to do it. So, I'm going to put some of my vegetables in with all of my herbs and spices. And that is immediately beginning to melt down into the cheese. You also have to remember that the vegetables and smoking joes and the sausage has a much stronger flavor than the cheese. So, at least now, you're going to be able to taste the cheese also. At this point, I could just put my sausage wings in as such, close it up, and baby, that is a sausage and pepper hero, Smoke and Joe style. Another way of preparing your sausage and pepper hero is that you could actually take the sausages and split them down the center as such and lay them into your hero on a nice bed of vegetables. Oh, these are perfectly cooked sausages. Again, you can see all of the juices layer of cheese up on the top side of the bread. Some more vegetables with Smoke and Joe's. And there we go. So as you can see, out of these few links, you can easily get three Sausage and Peppy Heroes. Sometimes you get four if you cook them for kids. You can definitely get four or five. But most of my friends, this would just barely make two heroes. You have to remember that this is about you and the food and enjoying the things that you like the way you like. So once again, you can follow me on www.smokingjoesauces.com. You can go order, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on YouTube for more recipes coming at you. Remember, buckle up. And to the Keegan family, all the way down in St. Augustine, Florida, enjoy Smoking Joe's Sausage and Peppers. This was your idea, now in Smoking Joe's Kitchen. Thanks again. Speak to you soon.